Ernie and the fire officer explained to Bernard that he should be using his driving glasses to drive and not non-prescription sunglasses as this means his vision will be affected and he may cause an incident. Using your mobile phone whilst driving is against the law and can easily distract drivers therefore making a collision more probable. If you need to use your mobile phone whilst driving pull up at a safe point on the side of the road and only use your phone once your car is stationary. Remember to end the call before setting off again. If Bernard is having trouble turning to see what's behind him he should definitely use his mirrors as much as possible. Had Bernard done so he would have seen the cyclist. If you can't manoeuvre yourself to see properly when using your mirrors Maybe it's time to consider alternative methods, such as public transport. After all, safety comes first. Just leave me alone. Have you taken your pills today? Oh no, I forgot to take them. fire officer explains to Charlotte that if she's feeling too nervous to drive, then she should use some other form of transport. It may be an idea to have some refresher lessons, or go out with a friend or relative and ask them for advice. A lack of confidence could lead to delayed decision making and could put you and other people in danger. If you are on prescription medication, Please check with your doctor, pharmacist or on the medicine packaging to see if it will affect your driving. Do not drive if instructed not to do so. Drinking and driving is extremely dangerous. Alcohol's effects do vary with age. Slower reaction times, problems with hearing and poor vision and a lower tolerance to alcohol's effects put older people at higher risk from car crashes. Older people also tend to take more medicines than younger people. 
Mixing alcohol with over-the-counter or prescription medications can be very dangerous, even fatal. Physical changes associated with ageing can make older people more susceptible to the effects of alcohol. If you are nervous about driving at night, or you are aware of hazardous driving conditions such as adverse weather or congestion, maybe avoid driving at these times. Right, as I say, I don't believe that that child should be doing that. No, don't bother with that. No, well, you know. I don't. Oh, I don't. She, she takes, you don't, yeah. you don't no. take no notice well, of me. No, no. As a pedestrian, it's always best to try and cross the road by using pedestrian crossing if possible. Do not cross the road at difficult points such as between cars or at a junction. Find a spot where you can clearly see the road at either side of you and make sure you leave enough time to cross safely. Hearing difficulties may prevent you from being aware of approaching traffic and other road noises so make sure you look properly before you cross. Recovery from an accident can be a long and painful process, especially for older people, so it's always best to be aware of oncoming hazards to prevent serious injuries. My horn. My are not torn. Hearing is an important sense that can deteriorate in later life. Try and be more aware of what is happening around you. If your hearing is deteriorating, you can visit your doctor for advice. Had Mary tried to cross the road and not heard a car approaching, she could have been seriously injured. The fire officer and Ernie explained to the mobility scooter user that it may be beneficial for her to receive some training on its use. More information can be found at your local mobility centre. Ernie and the fire officer explained that Annie should take more time to look for potential hazards. Luckily, Annie was travelling at quite a slow speed 
and so had enough time to stop the car before an incident occurred. However, many drivers travelling at faster speeds are not so lucky. For pedestrians, more care should be taken when in areas with moving cars. Pedestrians should not expect that cars will stop for them. Can you just put your seatbelt on for us, please, Ben? Do they have to? We're only going around the corner. Come on, look, we're going to be late. I still need you to put it on, Graham, if you don't mind. Oh, dear. Let me take Get going. Yeah. You just put it on for us. It won't take you two minutes. Doesn't really matter. Just, just put it on for us. No. I'm just going to sit here and let you take me. Ernie! Ernie! The fire officer and Ernie explained to Dan's grandma that he's against the law not to wear her seatbelt and she could face a fine if not. More importantly, she's putting her life at risk by not wearing one properly. If the seatbelt is too uncomfortable for her to use, she may want to use a seatbelt protector, which may make wearing one easier. Dan did the right thing not to set off until his grandmother had buckled up. Seatbelts should always be worn, even on the shortest of journeys. It is not safe just to hold it in place. It is the driver's responsibility to ensure anyone under the age of 14 wears their seatbelt or correct child restraint. For anyone over the age of 14, the responsibility lies with them. It's always a hard subject to address when thinking about hanging up your driving keys for good. Driving is a large part of people's lives as it allows them to get out and socialise and gives independence. However, sometimes it may be safer to stop driving if you think that driving is getting a lot harder later on in life. Talk to friends and family about your decision. It's important not to wait for an incident to happen for deciding to stop driving. However, simple and inexpensive additions to your car could be all that's needed to make driving safer. The law requires an older driver to renew their license on reaching 70 and every three years after. For further information, please contact the DVLA.